All right, we have Richard again assessing thoracic rotation. So how are we gonna lock, I don't know what that was. How are we gonna lock that out? We're gonna go into a child's pose. So you can see he's back on there. Yes, good, all right. Hips as far back toward the feet as possible. So then we're gonna bring the elbows and forearms together underneath, under the body. Uh, touching, please. Elbows and forearms touching, not, not, yep, okay. So a little hard to see here, but nope, they're still not touching. Yeah, there you go, good. From there, that's our starting point. You can uh, bring the left hand behind your low back. Okay, and the lumbar spine. So this is locking out the lumbar spine. He's gonna rotate as far as he can to the left. And that is why so slow. So he got to wherever he got, <laughs> not very far. We wanna see at least 45 degrees in a, in a healthy human. <laughs> I'm Abby Noble. Yes, and then he's going to try the other side to compare other back side, to our. Other side. Let's reset. No, no, hold on. Reset. So, for, yeah, butt down. You were there. That's fine. And then arms together. Forearms together. Yes, yes. Good. Please. Excellent. Right hand behind the low back. Excellent. And let's see how far he can rotate. Definitely much more quantity and quality than that left side. I'll have to screenshot those as a huge discrepancy. Nice, that's it. Oh, we'll do one more. Okay, yep, that's fine, thank you. All right, good, bye-bye then.